Welcome to Applaud Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to take you through the process of building a simple employee directory. The tutorial steps include prerequisites, including creating an employee role and assigning the role to new users, creating a model to store information on employees, including their job title and department, applying access controls to your model, creating a page to host the employee directory form, and creating the form itself to allow for employee information to be inputted, followed by inputting employee information using the form, finishing with creating an employee directory page and using the list block function to create the directory itself. To get started, make sure you have experienced designer or tenant admin status on your Applaud platform. This can be done by heading to the users section from the admin homepage. Subject to having the right role, you can get back to the admin homepage at any time with your platform's URL followed by forward slash dashboard. From here, find your user account and check for an experienced designer or tenant admin chip under your name. If you don't have either of these, contact your platform administrator. If you wish to complete the accompanying workflow tutorial, you will also need to create a role to assign to your employees. This can be done by heading back to the admin homepage and selecting the roles icon. Then select add located in the top right corner. Give your new role a name and enter a brief description. In this example, we have chosen employee and a person with an employment contract within the organization. Select save when you're happy with your choices. Now, head back to the admin homepage and go back to the users section to invite some users. Select the invite button shown. Enter the user's email address and assign them the employee role. Repeat the process as many times as you need to for your other users. Finally, head back to the admin homepage and select the models icon. Find your default user model and select it. Then, head to the Access Control tab at the top of the page. Select your platform role in the Role field and allow yourself to view, create, update, and delete. Then select Save. This ensures that any user properties added to your model will work. Now, it's time to create a person model to store employee information. Select Create New from the Models page, and the schema will appear. We're creating this model to store information on employees, so we're calling it Person Model. The description box is your opportunity to add a brief outline for the schema. In this example, we're using personal information regarding individual employees. Then assign an icon to represent your schema, and select Add when you're happy with your choices. In your newly created model, select Add as shown. The property box will appear. Properties are the different fields of information you wish to collect within the model, like name, job title, department, and manager. We're giving this title Avatar and choosing the file type, allowing for images to be submitted. When you're happy with your choices, select Add. We're also adding properties for full name using the free text type. Manager, using the foreign key type, linking it to the person model to allow users to find their manager from the employees already inputted. Job title, using the free text type. Department, using the lookup type in this example for simplicity, as the foreign key type would typically be used. Adding departments for sales, HR, marketing, development, support, and senior management. Extension number using the number type. Email address, using the email type. Start date, using the date type. And employee user, giving it the user type. 
The table displayed highlights the properties included in the person model, the types we have used, and if we checked the required box. Now it's time to apply access control to the model you just created. From your person model, head to the access control tab at the top of the page. This is where you can control which users are able to view, create, update, and delete. In this example, we're giving the experienced designer the permission to do everything. Select the plus icon underneath experienced designer to add more roles to apply permissions to. Using the employee role we created earlier, we're limiting the employee's permissions to view only. Select Save when you're happy with your choices. Now that your person model is complete, it's time to create a page to host an employee directory form. This form will be used to input employee information for the directory. In reality, your employee's information may be brought in from your other existing HR systems, but this can be an effective learning exercise for future reference. To create the page, Head back to the Admin homepage and select the Pages icon. Then select the New Page option in the top right corner. In this example, we're giving this page the title Edit Person. When you're happy with your title, select the check mark located to the right. On your newly created page, select the Add Content button and this box will appear. Select Form from the list and give this the title Edit Person. You then need to select the model to which this form relates, which is your person model. Select Save and you'll be taken to the Choose Data section. The properties you added to the person model will appear here, allowing you to delete any that aren't relevant for your form. In this example, we're deleting Owner User and replacing it with the Employee User property. Then, select Continue to use the drag and drop function to reorder your form. Fields can also be edited and updated in this section. For example, we can add a brief description to a field and check the Required box for fields that previously were not mandatory. When you're happy, select Continue. Then make any final formatting changes in the Settings section before selecting the Update button at the bottom of the page. Now it's time to input employee information for your directory. This can be done with the Edit Person page. The form that you have just created is here. Complete the form by entering the relevant information about the employee in the matching field. and select Save when you're happy. Repeat the process for each employee you wish to add. It's now time to create a page to display your employee directory. In the Pages section, select the New Page button in the top right corner of the screen. We're calling this Employee Directory, as this page is where we will display the employee directory content. Select the check mark when you're happy. Now we're going to create the employee directory. Select Add Content and choose the List option from the types available. Give this content the same title as the page. The model this content best relates to is the person model. Then select Save. Select Grid from the Layouts drop-down list. And under the Features option, you need to select Text, Avatar Icon Image, Primary Action, and Searching, Sorting, and Filtering. Under Title, select the Full Name option, followed by Job Title and Department for the subtitle. In this example, we're adding Email Address to the Overline field. Select Avatar under Avatar Icon Image and Image Property. 
As you can see, the Overline feature appears underneath the avatar, with the Title feature appearing underneath. Below this, you can find the Subtitle properties. Then, link your employee directory content to the Applaud Cloud page, and select Edit Person in the Page field. The link target is in a modal. This means that when you select any of the list items in your employee directory, you will be able to edit their information using the modal window that appears. Under Searching, select the properties you wish to search with. In this example, we're using full name and job title. Under Sorting, add your property types and select whether you want them to be sorted in ascending or descending order. In this example, we're using full name and manager. In this example, we're adding department and manager under filtering. Then select update when you're happy with your choices. You can now see the employees you inputted earlier. and use the Search, Sort, and Filter function. As you can see, these functions work seamlessly on mobile, including searching by name and job title. And in later tutorials, you will learn how to link to pages like your employee directory from menus so that you can easily access content like this without needing to know the URL. Congratulations, you have successfully completed this tutorial. Learn more by checking out Applaud Academy and our knowledge base at support.applaudsolutions.com.